today we want to talk about a conversation that some of you like throwing in. Are we are going to midlife crisis? Mm. That's what I hear. Some of you say. Some of you even just loosely throw this one. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. What is midlife crisis? How can you handle it? I want you to tell your husband, whatever he is, to plug into this show. <laughs> www.spicefm.co.ke I want you to tell your wife, the one who all of a sudden, she has been so nice. Then all of a sudden, she's wearing pum pum shorts. Mm. She's doing squad things. And you're wondering, hey, squad, tell her. She's going to Maldives. She's hey, things that people are doing very much. She's decided to dye her hair and she's 60 years. Exactly. <laughs> but it's a lot. No, some people call it media. Someone like it's change. We want to talk and learn more yeah. about midlife crises. Also, if you have a question or a query, please go to our social media handles, Spice FM KE on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Today we have Jackie Kea, a psychologist and a life coach. She's not new to this studio. Mm. She's not new to you. She's a voice that actually comes in once in a while and shares gems and helps us unlearn and relearn certain things. So today it is how to handle midlife crisis. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Hi. Karibu Sana, we have missed you. We have. I've missed this place too. Yeah. Welcome Many back. Two points. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We can't finish the year. We without can't finish you. the year without you. Yes. In fact, if you see your list name on the list of December, yes. we are allowed to remember, hey, where are these people? <laughs> Merry Christmas like this. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. So today yeah. we went to a conversation that some of us have had it, are going through it. Some of us even don't know they're going through it. Mm -hmm. Some of us are suspecting, like me, maybe I'll be going through it very soon. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I want us to talk about how to handle midlife crisis. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about from a person, third party. You know, third party could be your wife. Yeah. Your children are seeing you acting funny. Mm. And just let's find out. Now, for starters, what is a midlife crisis or what is that process or stage? First of all, I think it's a term that has been so stereotyped. Yes. And and negatively stereotyped. Oh. Because even when we say, well, we're going to midlife crisis, it's negatively stereotyped. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. But midlife crisis mm. is a dip in your journey of life. Oh. It's a dip in your, in the way you're looking at life. When you say a dip, what do you mean by that? It's like I'm going down. Yeah. yeah. But you know, down is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Yeah, when you say down like that. Yeah, yeah. it's not a good thing. Yes. And because you're calling it a deep, it means you won't stay there. Okay. It's a face. Oh. So it's a deep in our lives. That is not necessarily age-related, but at times, most of the times it is age-related. Okay. That we face in different times of our lives. And it affects our self-concept, the way we think about ourselves, the way yeah. we see ourselves. And it also affects our the way we look at life mm. we are not fulfilled and we are discontent so it is a dip in somebody's life where somebody feels discontentment mm. unfulfilled mm. and they are just not sure of what life is all about yeah yes we had an ask the adults question today yeah. and it, it just came to me yeah. and the lady was saying she lost 50 kgs mm -hmm. and she feels like uh, she wants to be single. She mm -hmm. wants to leave her husband. And her husband apparently likes her well bored toned body and mm -hmm. the loss of weight. But she's like, hi me, I want to enjoy singlehood. Mm -hmm. So should I get a divorce mm -hmm. or should I stay? And she's mm -hmm. been married for so long. She's been married for very long. Is that a, part, is that a symptom it of midlife be. crisis? It could be. Where? It could be. And uh, during the deep... Yeah. You know, people decide, you can decide to do something good for your life. You can yeah. decide to do something about it. Mm. Or you can decide to resign yeah. and stay in the deep. Okay. So it could be. It could be. Yes. So um, how does, you know, how does midlife crisis look differently for men and women? Because I know it's not, is it the same? Like what are the symptoms? Yeah, someone what, are the can, symptoms? what are the things that someone can point mm. out mm -hmm. to say, Maybe I'm going through this. Or maybe she's going through or he's going through that. Mm. The signs. Yeah. <laughs> I would want to start with what, what causes it first. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. There's the fact that it is age. Okay. We are at midlife. Yes. Yeah. Just like we get to this crisis when we get to our adolescent. Okay. We also get to a deep. Yes. Oh. You know, life is a journey. Yeah. So we get dips in different phases of our lives. So there's the age factor, and that is identical, almost similar to the to the adolescent yeah. uh, crisis, okay. the identity crisis. Yes. Where an adolescent is 
an adult, but not an adult, a child, but not a child. They're in between, and that transition They're confuses in between. them. And because of that transition, mm. they feel confused. Okay. Midlife, I am not old, but I'm not young. Yeah. You know? Mm. So I'm also in between. Be yeah. So you've just you've just left the youth gap, yes, and you joined this other side. Yes. But you're not aging, and you're you, not you aging. Still in yourself. You still think you've got it. Yeah, you're not feeling. But like the numbers the are not lying. You don't have it in yeah. terms of numbers. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we talk at a coil youth bracket. No, your youth bracket in a conga and in a kubwa sama. It's supposed to end at thirty five, but in Kenya it ends at forty five, which is very dangerous. <laughs> I never understand that thing. What? It's supposed to end at 35. Yeah. Kariko, you're not a youth. I know I'm not a youth. <laughs> though I feel youthful. youthful. <laughs> yeah. So there's that factor of age, where yes. you are in life. There are some reality life, reality shaking circumstances that can happen to our lives that also can cause us to be in a midlife crisis. Oh, yes. Yeah, I get you. Loss, like death, mm. divorce. Mm -hmm. You know, that shattering experience, mm -hmm. loss of a loss of a job, mm -hmm. also can put you into crisis. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, and it's so that's why it comes to into a midlife crisis within that phase or yes. period that takes you to the deep that you're yes. talking about. Yes, okay, and also death. Yes, can take you to that space, especially death of somebody that is your age mate. Mm. You know, yeah, okay. and then there's health. Health mm. scares also. Mm. Okay, can get you into midlife crisis because now you're facing your mortality. Oh yeah! Wow. Again, you realize is this it? I know you're not a medical person. Do you think hormones can make someone think, as in their hormonal imbalances mm -hmm. or how things are happening? Like, as some women get into menopause, yeah, could that also be part of this? Yeah, and I like the question that you asked mm. about: is is there a difference between the midlife crisis with mm. women and uh, midlife crisis in, with men? Yes, yeah. mostly our midlife crisis with women, it comes with that. The menopause, okay. Ooh. The hormonal, the our cycle is changing. changing. We are no longer now. You before you reach menopause, you get to perimenopause. Yes, My and God. perimenopause can last for twenty years. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes, it, it yes. lasts for so long. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you were laughing at me when I told you about. I'm going through that, and you laughed. <laughs> Why does it last so long? Yes. Because your hormones are not it. You know, by the time you you get to menopause, you are truly menopausal when you have not received your period for a year. Ah. So you are done okay. with the, the cycle. Mm. But perimenopause is that Process. period that your, your hormones now are reducing, are imbalanced, they're Hot not the flashes. same. Yeah. Today you get, so today it is you the don't. journey to the final one. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So it's not the same for men and women. It's not the same for men and women. So but that's ours, women. the signal of homo hormones mm. also can... Uh, Trigger. Can trigger it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So how about the men? For both of us, for both of us, it's the feeling of discontentment. Yeah. Okay. All of us are feeling, is this it? You know, when we come to life, we come to life with uh, with stages that the society has put for us. Yes. And there are so many stages that the society puts for us and we come and uh, we don't question it. Mm -hmm. You know? You grow up, go to school. When you pass your exams, things will be good. You go and pass your exams. Go to You need to go to university. You mm. need to get a degree. You need to get a job. You need to get married. Yeah. Yeah. How bad How kids. Kids. yeah. So you see, you accomplish those stages. You accomplish those stages. Oh, and, I'm I'm then, hey. yes. and then you can tick and tick, 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 tick these boxes. But then you're like, okay, what next? And is this it? Where? Because when you, you, you thought, if I tick the boxes, then I'll get the treasure at the end. Oh. And there's no treasure. There's no treasure. So you feel that you're not content so you're with wondering, your life. Yeah. What was Is it all it? for? Yes. Can you go now? Where are you? Are you, are you, are you having a midlife crisis? I don't see a person. I'm not a midlife crisis. No, 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 no. No, no. no let's, let, let's get that. Let, let's get that not also really. just before I get to the next question. Not really. There's that analogy that Karigo yeah. is putting across oh. yeah. that people feel like you only get midlife crisis when you reach. When, when you reach. Rich people. Oh. In fact, problems. they say rich man's problem. Mm. That people who don't have money, poverty should not be having. Mm -hmm. Is that really true? Is that a myth or just that is talk? I think it, 
it's a myth because of the stereotypical meaning we've given midlife crisis. Yes. You know, when we say midlife crisis, it means you, uh, you're an old man and you want to buy a convertible mm. yeah. and you want to be seen with a young a chick, motorcycle. a motorcycle. <laughs> so now you want to party at yeah. a certain age and you should have yes. done it a long you time ago. Go to the club and, and that is what we've defined as midlife crisis. But is that it? Not really. Wow. It is a deep in our self-confidence, our self-contentment contentment with life, a deep in the way we are looking at life. Now, for someone who is seated there and there, what are those signs they should observe? Mm, the mm -hmm. symptoms. Yeah, when it comes to that. What, and I know it, it, there are quite many, but mm -hmm. where can we pick up? Because as you said, for men it's different, for women it's different, but at the end of the day, we all get that deep. Yes. But how can I pinpoint that mm -hmm. I'm going there or I'm going through it? First, it's the discontentment. Yes, with life. yeah, yeah. Seen, yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you've gotten everything. You've, you've achieved. Just, you've, you've ticked the you've boxes. You've ticked the boxes, but you're just feeling like it's not it. Mm -hmm. So the lack of fulfillment. Okay. Second is the restlessness. You know, you feel like nothing that you enjoyed, you don't enjoy them anymore. Okay. Yeah, even the things that you used to like to do, you don't like to do. You them. think like you've overdone them. <laughs> You feel like you've overdone them, but also you feel like they don't make you happy yeah. anymore. They don't have a meaning mm. for for us. And you know those small things that we always say. Mm. Yeah, Friday, mm. I don't, I don't, you don't feel don't, like. Yeah. So, and I'm not saying that is a midlife crisis, but right. such. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you like this, like. Where are you saying I'm going through? <laughs> Maybe you could. This is the time you keep quiet and self introspect. Uh -huh. Where? Yeah. And then there's the questioning the decisions that you've made. Okay. Questioning your purpose in life. Oh, yeah. Questioning, questioning the life that you are living. Because now it's not fulfilling anymore. And all these things, when you're checking them, they were okay. Mm. The desire to do something new. Because what you have is not enough at that mm. time. It's or you feel not it's not for you yeah. anymore? No, it's not okay. at that time. And when you're going through this mm -hmm. phase, mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, just like the example Karigo mm -hmm. was giving, you're now feeling you're that deep. This relationship is not working mm -hmm. for me anymore. Mm -hmm. It's been 16 years. I have tried exercising. Fine, I've lost weight. But I still haven't gotten that contentment. Mm -hmm. Now I'm also picking uh, the thing I'm thinking, maybe it's my marriage. Do you think mm -hmm. that confusion could also be a sign? Because some people yes. get very confused. Yes. Because it is, a, maybe that's why they call it a crisis. Okay. Yeah. That confusion is also a sign. Should I stay or mm. should I leave? Mm. Though it's a double-edged sword because, yeah. you know, when you get to that point of questioning your life, there are people who realize for real that the marriage that I am in is not healthy. Or working out for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I settled. Yes. You and this settling. Oh. Yes, because remember one of the signs is you're questioning your past decisions yes. and how you made them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now right now, could you say that your midlife crisis has brought you to refocus and you're now alert that if you can question the things you were doing. Mm -hmm. Now maybe I'm thinking my pros and cons. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. hey, Jackie talked about mm -hmm. abusive, talked about manipulation. Mm -hmm. This, You know, like I am now at the table. Mm -hmm. I have written it down mm -hmm. and I'm questioning those decisions. Me taking or choosing me mm -hmm. or choosing something something contrary to what maybe my spouse or society mm. why do people tend to feel like that's a midlife crisis yet i'm choosing myself because the midlife crisis is always stereotyped as a bad decision oh. yeah so it's oh, to someone else it is bad yeah. but to you it is okay yeah. so when we even when we tell somebody oh we're a midlife crisis we are mm. saying you're making very bad decisions. Okay. But it is true. What you're saying, the midlife crisis point is a point that you can use to refocus, to restart, to rebalance, to do yeah. better things. To start afresh. To start afresh. Okay. So it's yeah. not a bad it thing. It's not a bad thing. It's how you will navigate it. Okay. Just like adolescent mm. is not a bad thing. But there are people who fall because of the crisis, identity crisis that happens during that time. Yeah. There are people who fall off and get to the bad direction yeah. because of that confusion that happens in that phase. 
so of this, growing up. So this lady, uh, if she, just hold that thought so okay. that I don't have to cut you off. All right. Let us come up with that fresh conversation. All right. If you're just joining in, we are the adults in the room. We're talking to Coach Jackie Kerr, a psychologist and a life coach. And today's conversation is how to handle midlife crisis. We come from a society where many of us, when we hear the word midlife cri crisis, we've stereotyped it and we always feel that it's a negative thing. Today I'm learning that it's really not a bad thing. It could be a phase or a stage where you need to relook at yourself, readjust and start afresh. Are you going through one or has someone told you eh, you're going there? Or do you think just because you are aging or you are a year older, things are going the other side? This conversation is for you, even for you who has not yet reached there. Let us have this conversation so that when you get there, you know how to behave and what to do best. 0719012600 is the number to call. We shall be picking up your calls and questions for Coach Jackie at the top of the hour. But remember, if you have a question, a query, please opine on it or ask it through our social media handles, SpiceFMKE on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The WhatsApp line is 01102-88162. We are the adults in the room. Spice. Midlife crisis is not a bad thing. It's just a deep, it's a phase of life that some of us find ourselves in. It's brought by many things and not with, uh, not just because of your age. It affects both genders. Yeah. That is one thing I've learned. Mm. It could be caused because of an occurrence in your life. Could be you lost your job. Could you have lost a loved one. Mm. Things are just not going right and you get to go that deep. And it's always good that we learn and we learn. And today I'm telling you, I'm asking you to tell a friend, to tell a friend, even you younglings, you know you're going to get older at some point. <laughs> <laughs> age is catching up. Maybe I don't know why young people usually think they'll never get old. I'm like, you should, you should wish. You should know my sister. <laughs> no, you should wish and pray to God that you get to my age. <laughs> And you see how life is. Instead of calling me, I'm there. You should, you should know that you you know getting to a certain age is usually a blessing from God. It Ama, is. Yes, yes, it, it is. is for real. Yeah. 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 yeah, me like that, Jackie. Pakai no, I didn't know that people people are laughing at you. Why would they? Welcome That's how KOT is. Yeah. No, we get oh. that. Like today, someone <laughs> decided. Someone had decided to go on uh, what is it? Facebook when we're having comments, and decides to just write in their mother tongue. But then what was it? What did he say? Uh, he's saying we, we're going to we're going too fat. To <laughs> <laughs> I felt like this one day. <laughs> and you know, but I said we're on air. Yeah. This home studio. I was like, what is this guy saying? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. At least we are <laughs> fed. <laughs> at, at least we are being fed. Those but are I, got, I got a negative comment when I posted the post. Oh, oh my God! This one because I had asked mm -hmm. uh, Jane as we are going to have the conversation today mm. is. Is uh, a midlife. midlife crisis about getting a younger chick or a younger guy, uh -huh. and then question mark? Let's talk about it. Uh -huh. And somebody answered, "Who told you that is uh, midlife crisis <laughs> is all about getting a, a, in a, a relationship with a younger person?" Who? I am not going to sit up with Kia. Who need to go through midlife crisis? <laughs> You may more affect. <laughs> you may thank touch. you for asking that question because <laughs> let me ask a question. Uh -huh. I was speaking to some friends of mine today. Mm -hmm. I had lunch with mm -hmm. them, and one of them, uh, I think, two, not one, two. Mm -hmm. uh, people have their own extracurricular activities. Uh -huh. I don't judge, but I said I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. They and one of them is going has gone through a divorce, so he's looking for someone young, mm -hmm. uh, some, not young, someone to get mm -hmm. a companion. No, Jam won't be about me. Acha ange kubali wacha nikuambia kwa nini. Now, when I was thinking about something like I have friends who are single, Carigo, yeah, yeah. and the person told me, mm -mm 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 -mm. <coughs> I want between 18 hey. and 23. And I looked at this person, I told him, do you know you're going to 50? What's the wrong with you? <laughs> I didn't get it. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and I was like, you're going through midlife crisis. Then I was like, okay, Barbara, you just judged someone. Yeah. Okay, they had their reasons. Mm -hmm. But as some person, as a question you asked, mm -hmm. could that also be a phase where someone thinks they're in their 50s, but they're going to look for a youngling. Surely, what do you want to destroy? Some people are older. Mm -hmm. And the people who they want to engage with, and I know his reasons are valid. He said, I would like someone, I just want to have a casual relationship. And I go, if I was to look for the likes of Carigo, I, okay, I didn't use your name. Mm. Carigo is too focused for me. Mm. For Carigo will start saying after some time, what are we? Mm. Where Who is this are we? Mm. Where is this relation? But this other one, I'll just give them money for nails, Where? money for going out. Mm. I'll leave them. At, I was like, you don't have intellect conversations. Mm. And the person said, for what? I already had intellect conversations with my wife. We have built a house. We've done, why am I building? So 
Could you say that is a stage that some of us, when it comes to where you have ticked all the boxes, mm -hmm. you start looking for things that are beyond your age? Or things that will make you feel younger because you're asking oh. yourself, is it it? Okay. Is this it? But I want to, to let you know that there are three ways we react to, to midlife crisis. Yes. Mm -hmm. The first one, I think we mentioned it, is resignation. Yes. Is you get to that point and you let yourself go. And you decide you cannot dream again. It's done. I made mistakes. That's why I don't like let my them, life. They let themselves mm, go. There's nothing I need to aspire for. So you live in resignation. Okay. Yes. Then there's the second group that decides to blow up everything. You know, they have to catch up. They, have, they, they, they are catching up. It's like they feel time is running out. Time is running out. <laughs> they want to time do is running they never out. Did. Yes. And then we have this 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 few uh, sentences that we say every time that are also going to incite us. We yeah. say 40 is the new mm, 20, 20 30 is the new. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that they make us those sentences also make us you, be, feel life begins youthful. at 40. Oh yes. <laughs> you know? That <laughs> has, <laughs> yes. Your life has not yet begun. It has 3 months to begin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we take them literally, okay. and now we want to behave like twenties. Yeah. We we'll want to look for yeah, our age mates okay. because we are twenties. Because now know? we are twenties, so we are looking for twenties. Yeah, that is you'll find yourself with a cabel. <laughs> no, <laughs> 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 you'll just be giving me the story. I'm just laughing at you. So there are people who blow blow up things. Okay, so you can end up blowing up a marriage of. Because like that lady yeah. in the first story. Mm -hmm. You can blow up a marriage mm. of so many years because of that. Okay. You can blow up a job, a career of so many years because of midlife crisis. Wow. You can blow up even relationship, friendships. Mm -hmm. These friends that may be... All of a sudden, they, are what are they you, benefiting? What am I benefiting? Yeah, or are telling you, hi, I don't think you should do that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need that lady. I don't think you need that Benten. Those are the friendships that you blow up. So yeah. that is the second group. So we have people who resign to it. There are some now who go and just overdo things. Yeah. And then we have the third group that decide to lean into the midlife crisis. Okay. And explore and see what is it coming to do in my life. Mm. What can I do in my life so that I can be better? Mm. What changes can I take? So it just depends which coping mechanism are you going to use among the three. So all three are coping mechanisms. Yeah, it's how you will deal with it, how you will cope with it. Well, you will either resign, you will either blow up everything, or you will lean into it and explore. The guys who, okay, what is the success rate of you experiencing this or midlife? Exploring. exploring. Now you're in the midlife crisis and you have three options. Mm -hmm. Which is the most successful coping mechanism? The person that leans in it mm. and explores. Lord. And how do you lean in? Like, what's that? Leaning in is acceptance. Okay. Lean, leaning in is leaning into the dissatisfaction. You say it's okay. And even looking down and writing and checking, mm. what, what is it in my life that is dissatisfying? Mm. Is it the, the, the weight that they're saying we have? <laughs> Shindra. We, we are eating our money. <laughs> we are very well fed. Mm -hmm. So you explore what is that that is making me discontent? What are the things that can give me fulfillment? And you can even get support. So exploration, it's you work on it, on Personal. yourself. Yes. Yeah. But you see the others, you either resign or you're just going outside to look for that fulfillment. Wow. If you're just joining in, we are the adults in the room and I want you to plug this conversation. As you're talking about <laughs> leaning in and exploring, I want to ask, uh, those of us who don't know how to lean in mm. and res have resigned to it, mm. do you think it can cause depression? Yes, it can cause depression. However, mm -hmm. midlife crisis is not a clinically 
uh, category uh, categorized oh. as a disease okay mm. yes when it causes depression and it, the depression is a disease now that becomes an illness okay yes so because you... of the discontentment okay because of the resentment because of the blaming that you're having because you, you you can see that grass is always green on other people your age mates grass is always greener than mm -hmm. mine mm -hmm. you know it's all because of dissatisfaction of your life I need to hold that thought so that we can continue further with that. Mm -hmm. If you're joining in, we're talking to Coach Jackie. And today we are handling this conversation about midlife crisis. Some of us are there. Some of them are on our way. But how are you handling your situation? Spice. Talking to Coach Jackie. She's a psychologist and a life coach. And the conversation we have on the table is how do we handle midlife crisis? In our society, we have made a midlife crisis or even the word just sound off. When you're on a break, Coach Jackie, there's something you were telling me that we should stop calling it a crisis. Yes. What yeah. do you think we should call it? It's a dip. It's a malaise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a slump. It's a face. Mm. And you know, when we call it a face, a dip, a malaise, it means it's temporary. Yes. It's not forever. But crisis. Is when we say crisis, crazy. it's like it's a bad thing. Mm. Hectic. It becomes yeah. hectic. It's hectic. And we are going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If somebody is going through it, there's something bad they're doing. Okay. Mm. Not really. Wow. So there are people who have changed their lives. There are people who have rebranded because of midlife crisis. Yes. Yeah. You know what? The first part of our lives the first part of our lives is always about accomplishing tasks. Mm. And those tasks, most of the time, are tasks that were set by the society or the tasks that will help us to stabilize, along to stabilize the way. Yes. or have the basics in life. Yes, That's the first phase of our lives. Mm -hmm. When you get into midlife crisis at that time, we, because it is made of age, yes. that is the time now you've done the tasks, now you can do your inner work, okay. mm. inner fulfillment. Do things for your soul. You know, even when you look at the hierarchy like of needs, mm. the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the top one is self-actualization. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Knowing You're getting you there. Mm. Yes. Mm. Because you've only been completing tasks. Some people get into the midlife crisis because of just doing tasks and obligations. Nimelipa school fees, nimepatilisha watoto, nimekila saa, nikirudi. Taking care of our parents. Our parents, nini nini, amefika pahali, anaona ni kama anakuwa mze. And then they ask themselves, is this it? Oh yeah. Yani I will not do things for myself. That, then yeah. they decide they're going to blow it up on them. Because now they are, they are in a crisis and they have reached a place of self-actualization and they're thinking, I have not reached, yes. I have not done anything for me. So you end up doing the wrong things for you yes. and not doing things that will build you. Yes. Okay. Yes. We and were talking about something about depression. So yeah. I went into that when you, because I remembered you were saying we need to change that narrative. Yeah. Uh, when I asked about if depression can cause uh someone no if a midlife crisis can cause you into depression and you're telling me yes it can cause it but it is not a medical it's not a disease yes. so we should not call midlife crisis uh, a midlife crisis a disease please proceed from there yeah midlife crisis is not a disease mm -hmm. in fact there are people who know it is a social construct oh yes i've had people say yeah that. it's this term came into being in 1960 mm -hmm. that is how new it is uh -huh. yeah wow so it is a social construct. Yeah, because I've had it's many people say that. It's not a disease. Yeah. And there are people who I hear don't go through it. Is it true? Maybe. There was a research that happened in, uh, I don't know if it was in the US, mm. that only 26% or 30% of people went through it. Okay. So I really don't know if it is true or in the research, the research was about the signs of midlife crisis would be and if it is cheating if it is yeah. and you know, the negative ones yeah, if yeah. it is only the negative again we miss the point mm. yeah. but when you look at it as a a face where there's a dip in my self confidence we all go through discontentment. it discontentment you will realize that life is like an ocean the waves come and go yeah. waves come and go You're absolutely we right. all feel that thing at mm. one time or the other all that matters is what will you do with that feeling when you're feeling that thing okay that is what will either make you or, or break, break you, you. Mm. Yeah. somebody asked told me to ask you <laughs> do you need to be prepared for it and if you do how can you be prepared for it for this midlife dip hmm. 
I think we need to be prepared for it. And such conversations are for just the way you're saying, even the young people mm. yeah. should listen to it, to it. And not just the young, there are older people who've not faced it or don't know what that is. Oh, they went through it and went yeah. out. <laughs> and they didn't know it was a deep. Now yeah. they're out of it. So the self-awareness, learning about it, will improve your life and also um, help you navigate it better. Yeah. 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 Because you're aware of what is happening. Yeah. Just like our identity crisis adolescents, we still go and talk to them and tell them, you know what, this is what is happening to you. This is what you will feel. But this is, if you do A, B, C, D, it's going to be detrimental detrimental for you. Choose the friends that you're going to, to choose yeah. correctly. Yes. So even for midlife crisis, we need to learn and know what it is, know when it is happening to ra for us, yeah. and then know how to navigate through it. Yeah. Yes. We we're talking about third parties, and as you, as mm -hmm. Akarigo asked the question, mm -hmm. I remembered uh, they could be someone, a wife. Mm -hmm. Who's seeing the spouse now is thinking that this one things That's are going into the crisis. crisis or the wife on the reverse. Mm. But as you're talking now, mm. I also want to put myself, I think I have seen a relative of mine mm. and I think they are, but they are of age. Mm. And when you talked about a deep that some things are caused by death, this relative of mine told me this. Uh, this year, uh, unfortunately in my family, we've lost quite a few people. So we've mm. had to go to the village, burial. Mm. And I had my relative who's older saying, you know, people I grew up with are dying. Yeah. People I see, I, I was went to school with are dying. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one remaining. Wow. And it worried me because from that time that person made a statement, mm -hmm. as you were talking, I have seen different things. Mm -hmm. Now, could be, uh, and I want to bring the aspect of comparison, mm -hmm. could be there's an adult somewhere listening mm -hmm. and sitting and thinking, I went to school with Carigo, I went to school with James, mm -hmm. I went to school, and I'm seeing them post interesting things yeah. and when i compare to where i am mm -hmm. things are not going there yeah. another person is actually thinking like that relative that auntie of mine thinking like people are just dying am i next because mm. sometimes you look at your class she's like i buried everyone now i'm mm. burying my relatives mm. other people feel like they have been left out mm. of the equation could comparison cause a midlife crisis and mm. if someone is going through it and to plug in on what you are talking about the identity how can i get my identity in check to avoid mm. that confusion. Yeah. Comparison is is the thief of joy. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, comparison will come along, plays a big factor, a, a big part on uh, the crisis, especially in, in our midlife crisis. Okay. Because remember, when we compare, everybody else's lawn looks green. Yes. Yeah. Even though... It's, 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 you don't know. Yeah, we don't know. You don't or know. Even though it grows on a siwa. Uh, you don't know if it's costing them. <laughs> no. You don't know if, it, if it's plastic or tough. No. Hmm. Everyone just looks else's dim. grass is greener. And remember this, the, the society check, checklist. Mm. So again, the comparison is to the society's checklist. Aliolewa, sijaolewa. Akona mtoto, sina mtoto. You know, those societal checklists that mm. we have, they are unsaid, but they really. They push we, us. They push they us. Apart. Mm. Yes. For somebody like that, they need again to seek inward and appreciate their life for what it is, where it is. And then if there's an improvement that you can make, it is you to set what improvement is it that you can make. It cannot be in comparison to Barbara. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know. I cannot do life the way you do life. You don't know my journey. No. Mm. I can't. So first is to understand you and do the journey run your own race mm. the way that god created you to mm -hmm. and believe me if you run your race you will win but if you decide to run somebody else's race and you don't have a key to the door to that race it's going to be confusing yes because everybody has the, the key to their race mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah yeah so you need to just live your life for those people, of course, for those people who've lived so long and they're mm. feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking by the time I'm saying my friends are dead, my yeah. relatives are dead, it means yeah. I have lived, I have aged. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering when we talked about it being relative to age, it can come at any time. Yeah. Could that person be getting the midlife crisis in their 60s, 50s? Yes. Or is that is that too old for them to be having a midlife crisis? It is a crisis. <clears throat> we might not call it midlife, though. Mm. What's our life expectancy? 
we all of 90. us indif- all of it's us 90. Is, Some of so us if it is 90 and uh, 90 I'm still young Steve Crawford 5 yeah. <laughs> if it is 90 <laughs> then it would be midlife crisis is between 50, 40 to 60 yeah okay yeah where so it is a a long term between that time if we 20 do, years yeah and remember also you can get it without the age yes mm. yeah mm. so for somebody like that i think appreciation would be so great the, gratitude for the third party could help them understand that they need to appreciate themselves yes they need to be mm. grateful okay mm. they need to be grateful that they've lived this long and also what impact and legacy can they still do because sometimes someone feels like what have i left behind yes mm. that's usually the discontentment yes. and now you, when you find something that you can leave behind please do do you think we should start uh, planning? And I know that sounds weird. <laughs> planning for midlife crisis. Mm, yes. That's what I was asking. Yes. Should we yes. be prepared? Yeah, of course we mentally. have those conversations. But planning for it that so that the, the society checklists don't get to you. Planning for it is not even just it, it's not uh, the society checklist not to get to you. Because planning for it, it, yes, it might. Planning for it is to be aware that I'll be able to tell at that point what is happening to me because most of oh. us are not able to tell we're just feeling like I, I you know the way you're talking about perimenopause yes. until somebody gave it a name and i was then, feeling me i'm feeling yeah. fatigued I and then you, flashes. you got sick away and you could you can google it and you can get help and you can get information yes. you can get books and, yes and it took a while i really went through it for about four months yes it re- i thought i was actually sick I, I was thinking, in fact, I, I used to make people I switch on the AC mm. in, and people are feeling cold and feeling hot. And, and in fact, this addition told me you're pregnant. Mm. I told her I'm not pregnant. <laughs> well, like, that's if you're pregnant, that I, I will laugh, laugh at told, you. But then she told me that <laughs> I will Where? laugh till I go. And I'm thinking like, what's wrong with her? <laughs> so it took me going to hospital and just getting my hormones stabilized, mm-hmm. knowing that it's something that many women go through. They don't talk they, about. They don't. Talk. And they're not aware. Yeah. Some are not aware what it's called. So. Planning for it is to be aware that these dips exist. Mm. And when I'm feeling like that, it does not feel like it's it does not mean that Carigo's life is better than mine. Mm. Okay. That is just a, a a what? A trigger to make me check inward, to mm. check my life. Yes. Yeah. I think one of the most important things that people should know at times and not at times, most of the time when we feel discontent with our lives, it is a signal. Mm. nothing external is going to satisfy that discontent okay it is a signal to go inward oh nothing you'll purchase will make it go away <laughs> nothing you'll purchase no young boy no young girl is going to make you feel feel that hole that discontentment especially when we are doing it we are getting it in midlife crisis yes it is time to go within the answer is within. Mm-hmm. It's not outside. With, yeah, it's not outside. And most of the time, we just go looking to find things. Outside. Mm. You Stuff. see a new car, you say, that car will make me feel yes. good. I see people who close shop and decide to do tours. Yes. And travel and travel. Then they come back again, they're the same. They, they don't come the... back. They even take their kids and homeschool them. Mm? And do drastic things. Is that midlife crisis? For real? No, it, I told you at times if it is thought through well just because i've made a drastic change in my life yeah. does not mean i'm going through a, mid- a midlife crisis true yeah and I if i am going to a mid through a midlife crisis and i have sat my with myself down behind the tent mm. and i have evaluated my life and it needs a change and to shift it it means i think i want to be a mother that spends a lot of time with my children mm. i want to homeschool them i want to da 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 and to tour the world with it's them okay the only problem is we from the other side yes. think it is bad and that's why we end up judging them yes and thinking it's a negative thing yet yes. at their time that's yes. what they feel that they need to do yes not all drastic changes that somebody does are negative, are negative mm. and are midlife they might be midlife crisis uh, changes but it doesn't mean they're negative mm. maybe the only problem is that in the society we are exposed to the midlife crisis drastic changes that, so, are, yeah. well, that jackie, are negative jackie yeah. just decided to become a gypsy it's yes, that are the negative it's yeah. and the ne- most negative common one that we are exposed to is 
he left uh, for a small a girl. Yes, and, and there are many of them. They're taking pictures with sleep with. No longer takes care of his family. Has abandoned. You know the abandonment, <laughs> oh rejection. So it's just that the most more midlife crisis examples that we've been exposed to. Uh, are those ones. the drastic and negative and maybe they are negative in our eyes but that other person is getting fulfillment from them yeah some yeah. but some we can even see that mm. there's no fulfillment yeah that these this, are jokes. This, no this was a wrong decision okay yeah some we can see yeah that should we call out should yeah call, that's what i wanted to ask should we call it out like jackie no jackie no we have a sitting or should we leave the people around through? you should and i think for some people the people around them do, do. Mm. But you remember, say you come a teenager. Now, when you come like crisis at teen, yeah, you can't have a new ski. Yeah, you want to come Forbidden home late. Yes, sweetest. Yes. <laughs> Where? If you're just joining in, we are the adults in the room. We're talking about how to handle a midlife crisis. Are you going through one? Have you had? Are you about to approach, or you don't even know if you're going through one? You are just there. But what I want us to remember today, even if we call it midlife crisis. It is not a crisis. Mm. It's a deep, something you can get over. It's a stage. So I want us to take it now. Let's try and change that narrative. Many of us think about it and we have stereotyped it. Yeah. But how about we have a conversation where we think that it could be a fresh start. Yeah. It could be a chance and for you. you can be prepared e for it. Exactly. <laughs> to relook at things, to mm. do things differently. 0719012600 is the number to call. Those of us who are going through midlife crisis, call in. Yes. Those of us who have questions and will just like a second year or a third voice, you could call in on 0719. Nine zero one to six hundred. Send in your questions on our WhatsApp line zero one one zero two eight eight one six two, or you could use our social media handles Spice FM KE on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have I told you Christmas is just around the yes. corner? Yes. Look Ooh. for money. We are celebrating the birth of the Lord. Yes, we are. <laughs> Spice about midlife crises if you have a question or a query feel free to call in on 0719 01 to 600 <laughs> coach jackie is here to answer those questions that you've been sending through remember the water supply is 8862 and of course opine on our social media handles mm. spice fm ke on instagram facebook and twitter and also give us a follow and remember also to follow carigo yes please on do. our socials carigo mm -hmm. gatere and i barbara mbaka mm. instagram twitter and barbara mbaka facebook now coach jackie before we even continue picking up calls and sampling there's something we were talking about when you talked about coping mechanism resigned then uh and the people the, who blow up their blow lives up and with and bad decisions exactly and then the people who explore exactly mm, yeah. and you gave us different scenarios about yes, it yes. now before i get back to that i remember i had a question in mm. i was talking about the support system yes now for a support system and i'm looking i've already identified this one of mine might mm. be blowing up yes. this one of mine is resigned mm. this one of mine is exploring mm. As the spouse mm. or as a spouse of someone who is going through that journey mm. or that particular deep, mm. how can I support them? How can I help them? And how can I also mm. make sure that we do not make those wrong decisions? Okay. First of all is also that you need to understand midlife crisis is normal. Mm -hmm. It's a phase. So it's not a get out of the myth that it's a bad thing. It's what you do with it that is bad. So as a spouse of somebody who is going through a midlife crisis know that it's a normal face the deep is normal yes the second thing is please don't use the label uh. <laughs> midlife crisis we now know nenda through midlife crisis yeah. you know that's a very common <laughs> <opinion. laughs> you know i said that because the other day someone here you're going through midlife crisis of stressing us. <laughs> yeah because already the the, the name is is synonymous to negativity yes so when you tell somebody you're going through a midlife crisis yes it could be true but it is it comes with a lot of maybe stigma yeah. negativity yes. Yes. or you've thought of them like okay yeah mm. you can think of it but don't label it yes yeah so now that you'll not label it you go to the third stage where you need to give the safe space for that person to speak about it okay. a listening ear to speak about the disillusionment the like unfulfillment to, to vent out yeah they, they can vent okay yeah don't forget to also remind them of the purpose they have because most of the time when we are in that crisis we we feel like we are 
useless. We yes. don't have a purpose. So always remind them of the purpose that they have in your life or they have done in the things that they do, the significance of that. And of course, you, you may not be able to totally get them out of it or be a good support system because you're close. If you feel like it is, it's, it's in a place that you cannot give that support, mm -hmm. you can recommend that they talk to somebody. Yes. They can get therapy. They can get uh, a trusted friend. They can get a support from church, wherever, where they can get good support that I am at this phase of my life that I'm feeling it's a slump. Mm. yeah wow yeah what can i do mm. about it yeah. so yeah. If, if worst comes to worst and you feel like this particular person is going through the deep mm -hmm. and the deep is leading them to certain emotions yes then we can seek for therapy for yes them. okay yes just to have someone to con co conversate and yeah and guide, guide. Them. Oh, okay and guide them I get you. through this crisis okay yeah what does having a comfort zone have to do with a midlife crisis I didn't understand that question. Okay. <laughs> but I am thinking. Yeah. Being comfortable. Being comfortable. Like you're zone. a person who just yeah. is your rigid. You don't like change. You don't embrace change. Mm. You know, you don't embrace the aspect of growth. Oh, okay. You know, you, you just want to. And then I'll ask you now about being stuck. Because mm. what does a comfort zone. If you're a person who just doesn't like new experiences. Mm -hmm. Now, this is midlife crisis. Are you content? Because remember, midlife crisis comes with a feeling of discontentment. Yeah. So I don't like change. I'm a person maybe, who loves maybe, uh, routines. Yeah. Yes. I'm into routines. Is this routine making me feeling discontent or I'm good? I'm definitely feeling discontent because then it wouldn't be a midlife crisis. Okay. So if you're feeling discontent, mm -hmm. we'll go back to the three, way pe three ways that people cope okay. with midlife crisis. Okay. You can either choose to resign to it. And to resign to it is choosing to stay where you are. Mm. Now I'll stay in my comfort zone. Mm. Or I will blow up. I'm going to be radical. I am going to go the other end and I'll blow up everything. Or I'm going to explore. <laughs> remember we said exploring is the healthier one. Okay. Yes, yeah, I remember. Yes. Yeah, not yes. staying, coming to terms and looking yeah. for yes. different things to do. Yeah. Yes. yes. So now mm. what happens to those that are stuck you're stuck and you're like i don't know what to do <laughs> then you're looking at your environment you're mm. thinking i don't have a job mm. i don't have money or you're looking at a scenario whereby your kids have left mm. your spouse has passed away mm. and you're like i don't know what to do mm. i feel stuck are you stuck because of life mm -hmm. Or are you stuck because I am at midlife crisis? I am just not, everything is good, but I'm discontent. Yeah. Because there's, life can make so, you stuck. So, so this whole journey for midlife, Paula mm -hmm. Duchess, don't leave us. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just excused myself to call. Now where I was living at. Why? 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 Midlife Why? crisis. Young don't, don't, pick up. don't spoil my plans, please. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But what, okay, so what, um, you, you just feel, okay, let me give an example. I may be content, but I want more. But I'm like, how can I get more considering the situation that I'm in? Maybe I've lost my job, you know, maybe I've been declared whatever. Maybe my, my husband has left me, mm -hmm. you know, my kids have left the house mm -hmm. and I'm 55. And I'm really looking at my life and I'm saying, yeah, my life has not been bad, mm. but I want more. Yeah. How do I? You feel like, how do you get out of the comfort zone? Yeah. So? How? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let, let me you rephrase it. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm, someone finds themselves, as you're talking about, it could be the nesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. kids have gone, the examples mm -hmm. that she's given. Mm. Yeah. But your life has been such a routine. Yeah. In your mind, you feel you're comfortable. There are people who love routines. Yes. I come to Spice at this time. Mm. Yeah. I leave. Mm. That's their life. Even when things are bad, they don't have routines. Mm. As in they don't know, they don't have extra curricular activities. Mm. Sunday, I go to church. On Saturday, I'll go to my mm. mama place. I'll go mm. and eat fish, come back. You know, mm. that is a routine. Mm. But now as we're having this conversation, they're like, that's why maybe I'm feeling this low. Ah. How do I get out of that comfort zone mm. so that I can be the explorer? Mm. I can refocus, restart. What mm. what are the steps I need to take? 
okay. to get out from that phase I am uh-huh. in. So basically, how do how can you look at things in a fresh eye, mm. with fresh eyes? <laughs> basically, it's how do we navigate the midlife crisis? Because mm-hmm. how do I look at things? How do I get out of my comfort zone? Yes. How I get out of my comfort zone is to push the boundaries. There's no other way. Because I'm not even adapting to be. <laughs> There's no other and way. And that's another thing. The boundaries. But you need to try something you've never tried. Okay. There's no way you will get out of your bow, your comfort zone yeah. without trying something that you've never tried. Yeah. So there's no explanation. You know, you will have to think about it. No, you will have to do things that you've never tried. Yeah. That is how you get out of your comfort zone. And this is in any area of your life at yes. any point that I need to dive in the water. I need to get to the water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And test it. How? Okay. But then how do you Okay, then, okay, all right. Make oh, your breathing under the water. <laughs> but how do you define mm. the good boundaries and the boundaries that will hold you back? Because sometimes, you know, you're putting in boundaries so that you don't go crazy. You don't go wild. Fear. Yeah. How, how, do, you, how do you establish healthy boundaries that will help you navigate in oh, this, this space? Journey? Yes. Okay. To and navigate, what do the healthy boundaries look like? To navigate this journey, remember, like I mentioned, we have to look inward. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have to look inward so that you see what is it that this face in my life is coming to teach me or is asking of me. Life speaks to us every time. At times, we just don't listen because we are busy living. So what is this face speaking to me yes what are some of the things that i'm discontent about am i discontent about my marriage am i discontent about my routine okay of going and coming back Mm -hmm. am i discontent so pinpoint it pinpoint it then after pinpointing it how would i want to improve it Mm. at times what are some of the baggages that i have carried all this time should i let go like bad habits like bad habits like uh, bad perception Mm. yes you know because you also have to, that if at all it is comparison, it's comparison is what is making me get here. Yes. Yeah. Then I need to drop it. If at all I am still bitter with my mother for all those times, my sister, my friends, or mm-hmm. bitterness, then I drop it. If I am bitter because I lost a job and people didn't see me, see good in me, I have so, so my, my self esteem is low. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the things now you start working on yes. and you've pinpointed it it's either it will be to move forward or it will be to go back to correct some of the things or cut that ties are cause, that, yeah that are causing resentment okay and blame there's a lady called blessed victoria she's asking hi ladies mm-hmm. let me get this clear did the coach say it has nothing to do with age Ama, is there a thin line between laziness and <laughs> midlife crisis? <Wow. laughs> now, uh, clarify the one for age. I know you said it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can answer about laziness and midlife crisis. It's, uh, midlife crisis has nothing to do with age. <laughs> that it can come to your life because of life circumstances and experiences. The deep, yeah. Yes, the deep in your life can come because of life experiences. At times, it's because of empty nesters. Mm. You were a parent all along. Now all your kids have left so the affect you at whatever age it can affect you at whatever age at times it is death Mm -hmm. of your parent and here let me say i am 27 ah i'll feel discontentment yes i will wonder is this it yeah i will wonder what is the meaning of life Mm. what is the purpose of life i'll get a deep in the self-concept the way i look at the world a deep in the things that used to fulfill me they no longer fulfill Mm. me because it's a crisis in your life yes in your continue that's why it's the midlife crisis Mm -hmm. it could be you go and get a diagnosis that is terminal at whatever age it gives you a dip again it's a crisis mm. yeah mm-hmm. so it's no it does has nothing to do with age but mostly we talk about it about when with it is age, about age we and it talk, with yeah. age and when it, we talk about it with age because there are some of us who most of us face it because of age it is between 40 to 60. okay yeah about being lazy it comes with restlessness. Okay. Mm. Also, yeah. that is what the, the one you were saying. It will Resi- cause de- resignation. Yeah, resignation. Res- resignation. Uh, someone can be, end up being depressed. So, yeah. laziness will come in. Yes. Yeah. And decide, what is it for? What's life all about? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing yeah. this? Yeah. What, See, what, 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 what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Okay. So that person, if at all has chosen the option of resignation, of course, that will look like laziness. Okay. And of course, if they don't pick themselves up or get help to pick themselves up, it the people out. around him will suffer. Okay. Yes. Uh, now, blessed Umezidi Sana, but I'll still ask it. Even a heartbreak, for that sake, no, you're going through something else. I don't think you're going through midlife crisis. Maybe she's going through midlife crisis. Heartbreak. Now we have it real life. I am not the coach, but uh, okay. But she can answer it. Is heartbreak also one? Really, guys? Really? Yeah. yeah. But in, in this How in this many case, will you get for you to get case, into crisis? I, I don't think we will call it yeah. heartbreak. Yeah. That is why I was saying um, life shattering experiences, experiences. and mm. for heartbreak we will call it divorce uh, where yeah. you knew it is yeah. till death do us part yes now that so can i be, don't just know say. if it is a heartbreak your boyfriend like, girlfriend yeah that yeah. one up and uh, yeah i've had stories of people saying that when they got through or when they began experiencing their midlife crisis they began to feel like they have a new purpose yeah for life yeah so they're not crazy you see, when, when you explore, uh, you will find the new purpose. You restart and refocus yourself. You will find mm -hmm. the new purpose when you explore. But when you resign, you, you will not, not find it. Yeah. When you decide that I will blow up my relationship, I'll blow up my job, I will just go and be uh, radical. radical, you will not find it. Grow like a weed. But mm -hmm. when you go inward, yeah. there are people who find new purposes. There are people mm -hmm. who change careers. There yeah. are people who decide they grow. We, we are no longer going to be have high BMI. Mm. We are going to cut our weight and yes. have healthy. Yes. And, and you, know, you know, that's crazy because I've seen celebrities mm -hmm. when they're past the age of 45, 50, mm -hmm. that's when now they're just focusing on their health. Yes. You're looking at somebody you're like, girl, yes. they're exploring. They decide to resort to doing yes. something about it. Wow. Instead of getting resigned to your fate. Yes. Yeah. And remember, we mentioned that the first years of our lives is about completing tasks for other people, for children, for who, for who. We are just completing tasks. When we get the midlife crisis of, of age at that point in the middle of our life, then we can now go inward and explore our self-worth, our self-purpose. Why am I here? Mm. And how do I want to be here? Yeah. Yeah, which you couldn't do because you were busy checking out the boxes the society had given. And you. that's why the, the society looks at these people with such a judgmental eye because they genuinely are now living for them. They're not living for anybody else. Yes and no. Okay. Remember the people who have also gotten to midlife crisis and made the most bad negative decisions yes. so we've seen also those ones mm. yeah but you see we 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 mention that and we pick those ones as that is midlife but we don't realize that there are other people in midlife they get positive outcomes they get a second purpose they give themselves a fresh start they give themselves a new beginning wow <laughs> yeah Kenny asked, I we'd answer this question in passing when you're giving mm -hmm. some statistics, mm -hmm. but I don't know if Kenny got it. Mm -hmm. So is it that at one point everyone will go through that a midlife everyone's question? A midlife <laughs> crisis. Because even Wycliffe has said, wait, must everyone go through midlife crisis? Yes, you I've seen about three people. <laughs> I've, I've seen three different people asking a more similar question. Too. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. It is said that not everybody goes through it. Yeah. Aki God, please let me be the statistic. <laughs> Maybe you're going through it right now. I am by there. I think I am by yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Remember, there's nothing wrong with going through, through it. it. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know yeah. to because of the negative stereotype. Yeah. Yes. We have put on that label yeah. midlife crisis. But it yeah. can come with good things. Yeah. True. Purpose. A sense Purpose. of new yeah. belonging. Mm. If you're it. just joining in with the adults in the room, how taki kitu let me kule tea kwa meza yamani. And we never Ooh. talk about it. By yes. Yeah. And that's why this show actually airs out conversations that are spoken in low mm. tones mm. that sometimes are not brought to the fore and today we were talking about how do we handle midlife crisis some of us it has taken them this deep it has taken us south some of us it has rejuvenated our lives for some of us we have resigned thinking there's no way there's no dope opening i hope you've listened to this conversation and pick something but if you haven't or you have a question that is burning i would like you to opine it or send your question through our whatsapp line 011028862 or through our social media handles spice fmke on instagram facebook and 
Twitter. Remember, it is a dip. Yes, it's a crisis, but it is not something that is going to make you kill yourself or die or resort to thinking that there is no help. If you've been hearing Coach Jackie, there is help along the way. So I'd like you to plug in. Remember, you can call in on 0719 600 We are the adults in the room. Spice talk one of those conversations that many of us never want to hear midlife crisis we have stereotyped this name we've used it badly but if there's something i will be taking home today is it's not a bad thing it's just a deep a phase of life some of us go through and if you're going to go through did you listen to the coping mechanism i hope you plugged in but remember i'll be reminding you of the coping mechanisms that you can do some of you have resigned to it and you're thinking this is your fate it's not your fate you can get out of it mm. some of you have opted to do things that are heinous ridiculous off the top you're leaving relationships you're dating twin teens and you're in your 70s hey. but anyway <laughs> that's what makes you but some of you have decided to kickstart your life focus and i think that is the best thing we should do even at your worst even when things go haywire even when you get that particular dip look within yourself and see how you can get out of it don't resolve in just going to depression or getting a, into a mental funny state but i am not alone in the studio we have coach jackie yep. and the shy mistress and remember to send in your questions what are you reading darling and the people who are calling call now you have eight <laughs> minutes uh can see on twitter is saying again can it repeat itself by this i mean you come out of it then later in life it comes again yes mm -hmm. i was sharing the same in mm -hmm. sentiments with ken i wanted to ask that question yeah. it can it or can. because of the many dips we it get. It can because of many dips. Life is a journey. You know, we, when we say life is a journey, we don't, uh, we, I don't know if we know the deep meaning of it. It's a journey. Ups and downs. Yeah. Like a sea. There's a wave. Ups and downs. So you can get into it and come out of it. Um, oh, that's why we need to learn how to cope. Yes. Um, hmm. Is getting into, uh, what was the word I was looking for? Uh, when you hit rock bottom, mm. is it the same kind of thing like a midlife crisis? Because now you're saying that it keeps repeating itself. I, have, I, have, it. I have several callers yeah. online. Let's pick Please a few think calls. About it. Hello, Spice. Hello. How are you, darling? I'm good. This is Billy. Yes, Billy. What's your question to Coach Jackie? It has been a very long time if I talk to you guys. Yes, what's the occasion? And thank you for making time for us. Yani midlife crisis no likuleta. Go ahead. Like he really hit Sana. So Billy, I'm go asking, ahead. I'm asking. Uh, how can we relate uh, disappointment mm -hmm. and midlife crisis to this point? Like you, you are trying to, you are trying some new, some new things out. But they don't go as you expect. Like you are just disappointed. You are trying to to adapt to the new system, but it's not coming. So how do we let this one be like crisis? That's what I have. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, can I pick two questions so that we have two to answer? Yes, I hope you you can refresh his. Yes. Eh? Okay. Mm. Hello, Spice. Hello, hi, guys. Hi, Ng. What are your thoughts about the conversation or uh, question? Now my question is, do we have degrees degrees of this midlife crisis? For example, severe, acute. Like my grandfather, that is, he's he's very old, but but he's still chasing small girls. Can we say that it's severe midlife crisis? Thank okay, you. we'll have Coach Jackie answering that. I want you to pick a third one, but let's answer let's answer this one. Our uh, first question, mm -hmm. uh, Billy is asking when it comes to disappointments in mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. and because uh, sometimes you're really trying to do things, yeah, or you're trying to make deals, mm -hmm. you're trying to rechange, restart your life, mm -hmm. and then disappointments just seem to be coming one after the other. Mm -hmm. Could that be that particular deep that someone is getting into? It can cause that deep. Especially if they are following close to each other. Oh, so you feel so like it can cause that deep or that discontentment yeah, you're talking about. Discontentment about life. Yeah, okay. And then also you should check yourself. Is it discontentment because you're comparing grass is green on the other side? Okay. But like we mentioned, you need to look deep and ask yourself, what lesson can I get from this disappointment? Everything in our lives 
is here to teach us something. Even the bad things yes. are here to teach us something. They're lessons from yeah, it. Yeah, they're lessons. So do I need to chase these dreams differently? Mm. Do I need to use different words? Do I need to repackage? Do I need to rebrand? So that you're not doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Mm. Okay. And disappointment is part of life. There are three realities that everybody in this life goes through. Pain, uncertainty of life, and this having to work oh. at life. Wow. Okay. All of us will face that, those three. You said pain, and pain, and uncertainty. uncertainty of life, because okay. life is not certain, so, yes. and the working at it. Yes. So we both have a duty to do the three things, and we will face the three things in oh. life. Okay. Yeah. Now, the next question is the degree. Yeah. of a midlife crisis someone feels that mm. the grandfather is in a very severe degree <laughs> so, <do> you, <laughs> is he like so a small guy uh, yes uh, so is that degrees and mm. seen, i remember i said there are people yeah so uh, and they, they're not getting it i don't know if what what what's happening to his grandfather is also a, a midlife crisis is it is she, he chasing uh, small girls because he is discontent with his life mm. or has it been his life to have a small, small girl. girls where but she just didn't get the opportunity it was no, probably his wish them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and people didn't know it, that, maybe they know okay that this is what he has been doing that, yeah. that is his taste and preference yeah, that is his, his taste his habit what is one something one that one he has just picked up or it is something that has always been there okay has always had an eye for another girl yeah. ever since he was a young man and now he is a grandfather yeah because we cannot also just identify that because he has a small girl to assume that is midlife crisis yeah. Yeah. is it his habit okay mm. So that is different. Yeah. It's different. So the difference between midlife crisis and hitting rock bottom. Uh, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, rock bottom is always in relation to a habit you've been doing and you've not stopped. So it, you do it until it gets you to rock bottom. Mm. Okay. So rock bottom is not as, in, in any way okay. in, re related to midlife, midlife crisis. crisis. Okay. Because you hit rock bottom because there's something that you've been doing continuously yeah. that is detrimental, but you've not stopped. Uh -huh. yes. Could Jackie, someone wanted to reach out to you directly or procure your services, how can they get to you? You can get me on uh, Instagram. I am Coach Jackie Care. Yes. I am Jackie Care on uh, Facebook. And also you can reach me through my phone number. Go ahead. 0726 460 245. Please repeat it for those ones who say, Sikuwa na kalamu, mumepata kalamu. Have you got it? Note this down. Does it in? Repeat the number. 0726 mm -hmm. 460 Two, four, five. I was asking that because uh, whoever asked, I'll not name your name. I've seen on our socials. You asked how you could get in touch with Coach Jackie. I hope you've heard and taken note. Jackie, thank you so much for coming thank through. You. I'm now looking at midlife crisis in a different mm, perspective. Yeah, same. It's no longer that stereotype, no. but now a deep. And it's not scary. On behalf anymore. of the adults in the room, see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Good night, darling. Bye. 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 Spice.